All right, this is the grade 7 math practice test for TN Ready. On this version of the test, it's question number 25. Last month, Carmen made $480 working for 30 hours. This month, she will get a 15% increase in the amount she earns per hour. What will be her hourly, hourly rate in dollars after the increase? So the first thing I need to do is sort of get a feel for what unit I need to be working with. And what I mean there is... I need to realize that in order to identify an increase, I need to look for hourly rate. And they don't give me hourly rate originally. They give me how much that Carmen made during 30 hours of work. So I need to figure that out first. That's my first uh, level of concern here. In order to do that, of course, I'm going to divide, right? You just, how else would you break 480? into 30 parts to find the hourly rate because I want to know one hour. If you want to set up a proportion, you can, I guess. $480 for 30 hours. But I want to know the hourly rate, so I want one hour. So i got to put X up here, maybe X dollars, whatever. Cross multiply, of course, you'll end up with 30X equals 480, which gets us back to my original idea that you're just going to end up dividing. Make sure that looks like reasonably decent. Now, this is a calculator allowed section. And if my pen would stop acting crazy. All right, let me bring one of the ugliest calculators ever over. So I'll do 480 divided by 30, and it should end up with 16, yep. So currently, Carmen is making $16 an hour. It's not bad, you know. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, depending on what job it is and a number of other things. So now all I need to do is figure out this month she will get a 15% increase in the amount she earns per hour. So I'm going to start here. I'll erase this other stuff. The idea of an increase, there's a couple ways I can go about doing this, I should say. Number one, I could figure out what the increase is and just add it to my original amount. And that's the thing. Don't be ridiculous here and identify the increase and only write that number down. You just think rationally about this. If you have an increase amount of money, it should definitely be more. So if you find an increased number and you write something that's less than $16, something has gone terribly wrong. So you need to fix that. So what we'll do is we'll multiply by 15%. And remember, converting a percent to a decimal means we divide by 100, right? Move the decimal points over to, so it's 0.15. So we're going to multiply 16 times 0 0.15. And again, it's a calculator allowed section. You don't absolutely need a calculator here, but for time's sake, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me do it by hand. $2.40. Now, the thing about this is that's the increased amount. I'm converting 2.4 to money, which is $2.40. This is the increased amount. But if you put that here, you're in big trouble. Because they're asking you, what will her hourly rate be after the increase? Well, she's already making $16 an hour, so her increased rate could not be somehow significantly less than the amount she's already making. So be careful. They're kind of uh, not the nicest people about this, and that's what I'll say. That seems guarded and appropriate. So just make sure that you add it back and you get $18.40. What else could we have done? Well, if you want to look at the multiplication where you already consider the idea that we're going to stack on top of that $16. So if we want to put $16 into the equation, we have to think, well, how do I get $16 from 16? Well, multiply by one, right? So 16 times one. So instead of doing this in two parts, a study of wages in two parts, it feels like some sort of symphony. Uh, we'll just do it all in one. 
So instead of having 16 times 0.15 or 15 hundredths, and then adding that back on top of 16, I'll consider the one already in there. So times one, and then we'll put our decimals on, 0.15. So when I do this, I magically end up with 18.4 and convert it to money because they're asking you about money it needs to be in dollar form so you have to have something like this you absolutely do not need to have the dollar sign especially if it looks as lousy as that one does but you do need to have the entire monetary value listed there so that's it look to see what you need to work with in this case we needed to work in hours and we had it a, a 30 hours to deal with so we had to adjust and then make your adjustments always think rationally about what type of answer you're providing. If they're asking for an increased amount and you give them a much smaller number, it probably means that you've only considered the increase and forgotten to consider the original amount of money, so you need to make that adjustment. Now, if it says it's a decrease, you may find out that it's reasonable for you to have a very small number depending on the size of the decrease. So just make your adjustments appropriately.